I've been to London to have tea with a queen. <laughs> That's actually not true. Anyway, but I have been to London recently to see my best friend and my godson. And uh, one of the things I love doing with my bestie is having cups of tea. And tea is a great way of breaking away from the sweet drink addiction thing. So most people who have an addiction to a hot drink that is not tea is often something that has a lot of caffeine in it or a lot of sugar and sometimes caffeine, sugar and dairy and chemicals. So those frappuccino things that you get on the corner stores, uh, coffee stores and things like that, some of them can have like 20 grams of sugar in them. It's nuts. And so breaking free from that, it's wonderful to have a nice hot drink. Now the thing to remember is that you're going to have some beautiful warmth that comes up for you with the nice warm cup of tea. And I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do and give you some suggestions for adding great flavor to it. Because in my experience, a lot of the herbal tisanes that aren't addictive are kind of insipid and boring. So I'm going to give you some options that are not. And uh, a little tip on how to actually make it sweet without adding anything that's going to spike, spike your blood sugar or anything that's artificial. Okay, so when we're giving up our addictive drinks, essentially one of the things that happens is we like to hold our cup of coffee or our hot chocolate or, you know, frappuccino or whatever it is, you know, and um, it will transport us. The f drug like feelings that come up from the addictive substances will transport us, give this kind of softening edge to the feelings that we're feeling. And instead of feeling the discomfort, working through it and moving through it, we kind of push it down so it never ever gets really dealt with and we're now having something toxic in our body energetically and physically. So what I want to do is show you some options that you can use to have a herbal tea that's non-addictive that actually has some flavor into it. So one of the things that I love as far as a tea, you can either grate or slice pieces of ginger into the tea and fresh lemon. So you can cut slices of it and even put a squeeze of lemon in it and pour the boiling water on it. That alone will give you a lot of flavor and just depending on how much lemon and ginger you add will make a big difference. Another option what you can use, two things that are delicious together. I'm not crazy about them on their own but licorice root, which is amazing, has lots of sweetness, lots of flavor, and when you add hot water to it, it gives this beautiful sweetness to your tea, and then some beautiful fresh mint. Now, I have chocolate mint here, so you get to have your mint and your chocolate at the same time. It doesn't really taste chocolatey, but it has this beautiful, refreshing mint. Even just rustling it just now created this amazing waft of a flavor. Now what you can do is you can just put it straight into the cup and top it up with freshly boiled boiling water or you can strain it. Now for straining it there's lots of options like these little metal things that you can put into your teacup or you can put it into like a little hand strainer like that or if you want to make a full pot you can use one of these plungers put your ingredients in there let it sit for a while plunge it and pour it. Super easy. But one of the little tips I want to share with you is on the thing about boiling water. Freshly boiled water will make your tea taste better. And I discovered this about 20 years ago. I was running my cooking school, a food lover's workshop in Melbourne, and I was making myself a cup of English breakfast tea and I read the package, the Twinings package, and it said to use freshly boiled water. And I thought, isn't that interesting? So I phoned them up and I asked about this and they referred me to one of their tea specialists who said that boiling the water twice does actually change the flavor of the tea in tests after test after test. The flavor was always better with the freshly boiled water rather than the water boiled second. And the other thing, the tip I like to give people is that when you're making a cup of tea for one or two, only fill up the kettle with one or two cups, depending on how much you're going to have. It does several things. One, you're getting your fresh tea boil, right, with just the right amount. It's going to take a shorter time to boil, and you're going to be saving electricity and water. So that's a little kind of return to food, eco-friendly tip for making your tea. Two last things. I wanted to share with you my all-time favorite tea ever, Herbal Cezanne, and that's lemon verbena. 
Now, lemon verbena has the most beautiful, fragrant lemon scent. It's heaven. It's like oxygen and opium mixed in a flavor aroma compound. But we couldn't find it. We went to five different places on the way, and there was no fresh lemon verbena to be found. When it's fresh, it's 10 times better than when it's dried. And it's just as simple. It's just like the mint, putting it into hot water, and the flavor comes up, and it's delicious. Now, the second and the last thing I want to leave you with is when you're having your beautiful cup of tea, I encourage you, even if you don't have a friend, to really feel that sensation of connection. And that's often sometimes what we're seeking most when we're having something like this, when we're looking for that beverage to transcend us from our discomfort rather than feel it. What I encourage you to do is to have your tea and allow yourself to just be mindful and present with the emotions that you may be trying to escape. Just be present with it allow yourself to feel and also allow yourself to move through it so then you're not suppressing a toxic emotion or something that's unhealthy and not serving you you're allowing it to move through you and move free and you're replacing it in a sense and washing it down with something that is nourishing energizing and protective mentally emotionally spiritually and physically 